welcome you back to Remembering is Easy YouTube channel. So today we are going to see a very very important topic known as microorganisms. So in this video we will be seeing what is a microorganism and there are advantages and disadvantages. So while you hear the word micro, what do you think? It's very very small. Yeah, it is a nano size. So, what is microorganisms is, it is a very small organism and you can be seen through only lenses. So, what is these lenses are? It is a microscope. And they are so minute. Uh, even now in our hand also, there will be large billions and billions of microorganisms living in it. But are you able to see it? No, you cannot see it with your naked eyes. Because they are a very, they are in nano size. Uh, but we can see it with a microscope. So that's the definition of microorganism. So what is this microscope? I am telling that we can see the microorganisms through microscope. What is that? What, let us see. So everything in this world you cannot see with the, your naked eyes. Can you see bacteria? No. Can you see fungi? No. Can you see algae? No. So, there are many things you cannot see with your naked eye, but it can be seen through with the help of a microscope. So, in the, uh, you have in your right hand corner a uh, picture of a microscope. So, what I did is, I kept some, you know, microorganisms and I am showing the picture of my output. You can see here my output. So, like this only. Uh, now, if I kept, keep this out of the microscope, you will not be able to see it. You will be seeing some liquid only. But when I keep it under the microscope lens, I am seeing some organisms which are moving and are living it inside that water. So this is the usage of microscope. And it is used to see microorganisms mainly. Now in our present situation that is coronavirus, how do scientists say that there is a virus living in it? Uh, there is a, they will take the blood and they will be telling uh, this that everything. How? With the help of microscope only, they are able to understand that some living creature is inside it. So, with the help of microscope only, they have proved that a virus is living. There is a virus living in this. It is causing this. Um, and and they will put our blood and they will be seeing how our body is fighting against it. So, everything, how they are seeing this is fighting, this is that, everything. With the help of a microscope only, they are seeing the minute microorganisms and judging that is that a virus or is it a bacteria which is doing bad things to us or even fungus lives in our lungs. Now, if we have a lung, a lung due to bad things in our lung and if we die, there is a reason for virus and fungus. So, how does a doctor decide this is because of fungus he died? Everything is done with the help of microscope. So, I hope you are clear with the microscope topic. So, the next thing is, uh, microorganisms are like a frenemy. They are a friend as well as an enemy for us. So, we should always see the good sides as well as the bad sides. First, always I go for the good. So, what are the advantages of microorganisms? The first point is, the bacteria will be living in our body. Uh, yes, everyone might have known this. So, in our body, in our stomach, it will be living. So, why does it does means? Now, while we eat food, we need to digest the food. Why? Because then only all the nutrients from the food gets to our body to provide nutrition. So, this bacteria, what does it do means? It will be digesting the food, what I am eating or what you are eating, what everyone is eating. And they will be taking the nutrients from it and available to us and neutralizes the toxins. Toxins are very bad for our health. So, they will be neutralizing it. So, how? what is neutralization? Now, if there is too much acid, it forms hydrochloric acid, we will tell acidity and we get an ninja, uh, you know, chest acidity. They will be telling Tamil ninja acidity like that, what they will be telling, so etc, etc. So, to neutralize this acid and base, when we uh, acid and base forms together, it gets neutralized. So, bacteria helps in that process. The next one is, microorganisms have many, many, many industrial uses. Mainly, 
it is used in the food production and medicines so if you see medicines injections and all how does injections work we just put, now what do we do we just put an injection and then we'll go and then we are what we will tell i put it um, uh, now in our present co uh, corona situation we are telling that we have to put uh, covid shield co vaccine etc by putting them what is the usage no one thought i will tell it now so what does the microorganism does mean some microorganism such as bacteria fungi etc what it does means it will be forming a immunity to the body and it will surround the virus what does it does it surround the viruses and the wbc captures it and eats it i have put in my previous video i'll put in the uh, in the description box also about wbc etc so wbc is a white blood cell and what is the usage of it means it helps to protect our body from diseases so the wbc leaves some uh, uh, well that is a uh, um some how can i tell some fungi or bacteria out of it and it is antibiotics that name is antibiotics so what is this is antibiotics it kills the disease causing microorganisms i'll be putting my further video what is disease causing microorganisms etc so it will be surrounding the disease causing microorganisms and then the wbc what does it do means after the antibiotics surround it it starts to eat it and kills the microorganisms i mean disease causing microorganisms so this is how medicines work and for food production now if you see means in a baker shop or a, well now you make a cake in your home uh, you will be seeing if you leave the dough for some time it starts to grow it's like it is living and it starts to become buff how does it happen means there will be some yeast present inside it so the yeast will start to respire now how we are respiring that is uh, even microorganisms also respire and they breathe they do everything they are also living organism only but why they are microorganisms means they are very minute they are very small so that is why microorganisms so let's come back to our topic how does uh, cake gets burnt so the yeast will rear that is it will respire carbon dioxide what carbon dioxide co2 that i'll be putting my further videos also so what it does means it will be respiring respiring and all the carbon dioxide comes out so it makes the dough to become buff and it starts to grow bigger and bigger so even in food production such as cakes uh, breads etc etc microorganisms are useful so now we saw the advantages of them now what are the disadvantages of microorganisms let us see so there are some fraction of microorganisms which causes diseases yeah now uh, corona virus you are telling what is this corona virus it is a virus this virus is actually a microorganism this virus is a microorganism so this disease causing microorganisms has a name called germs we tell simply germs but the another name is pathogens we tell uh, he has lot of germs in his body and that means what he is having some disease causing microorganisms present in it or that also name is pathogens so pathogens are the microorganisms which cause diseases to others so the microorganisms are one way useful to us and the another way it is bad for us the usefulness i have already explained that is for food preservations medicines that is one point the second point is it is also used for the digestion of our body and the same way it is very bad for our health and the, it is the, the disadvantage of it is very bad for our health as it causes disease causing microorganisms known as germs or pathogens so i would like to say thank you for everyone watching this video if you like the video put the like button subscribe and share to your friends thank you i will meet you in the next video